Hi guys, I'm Kasmira and you're welcome to your favorite weekend news made by kids and for kids on GNTV Junior. This news is coming to you from the studios of GNTV Junior in Accra. Catch us as we stream live on Facebook, YouTube and the ABO TV app channel 143. And don't forget to watch me feely feely on the HD Plus channel 171. Now to our headlines. Commemoration of 2023 International Day of Families. Junior Shapers of Cal celebrates World well Day of the Boy Child. We'll also be looking at some health benefits of Asana. This and many more will be coming your way in the next few minutes. Stay tuned. Now to our first story. On Monday, 15th May 2023, the Department of Social Welfare under the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection in collaboration with UNICEF Ghana and CRS Ghana organized a walk and town hall meeting to commemorate the 2023 International Day of the Family. The event dubbed Families and New Technologies was aimed at creating awareness on the new technologies in relating to families and development. Its purpose was also to promote parental responsibilities and child protection, sensitize the district on the importance of the family in the lives of individuals and increase knowledge on the impact of technologies on social and economic process on families. In a keynote address read on behalf of the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Honorable Larry Bazuera Abudu, the Deputy Minister for the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Honorable Francisca Ote Mensa, noted that the COVID-19 pandemic had evidently accelerated the pace of digital transformation and boost technologies that have brought social and economic benefits to families. Now more families have multifunctional devices for interpersonal communication, created jobs, and transacting business, she added. The deputy minister admonished all and sundry to take care of their children, support their families, and guide them with the use of technologies whilst educating them on the dangers associated with it. In a statement read on behalf of the chief director of the ministry, Dr. Avisa Zakaria, the director for the Department of Social Welfare, Reverend Dr. Comfort Asare, stated that this year's theme highlights the significance of embracing existing and emerging new technologies to enhance good family life in Ghana. Solidarity messages from development partners, UNICEF and CRS Ghana, emphasize on their commitment to sustaining the strategic partnership and collaboration with the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection for long-term benefits to families and citizens. The International Day of Families was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 1993 through Resolution A RES 47-237. Since then, on the 15th of May every year, the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection raised awareness about family related issues and deepened their understanding of the social, economic, and demographic factors affecting families worldwide. Still on International Day of Families, the day provides an opportunity to promote awareness of issues relating to families and to increase the knowledge of the social, economic and demographic processes affecting families. Do you know how families began? A family is a group of two or more persons related by birth, marriage or adoption who live together. As families all around the world come together to celebrate the International Day of Families, we at GNTV Junior have been out speaking with families to discover how they are expressing their gratitude on this meaningful occasion. Let's take a look. As we celebrate the International Family Day, I want to use this opportunity to thank all my family members, especially my wife, my lovely wife, Missy and Sai for being very supportive 
and very caring and then very hard working in helping me take care of the family. I also want to thank all my children. Uh, they have they have been doing their being in terms of their education and then contributing their quota to the betterment of the family. So I want to use the opportunity to thank all my family members and say God richly bless them. Whatever they have lost, God replenish it. And I also want to thank all families. It's my prayer that as God is blessing my family, the same will happen to all other families everywhere. So that together we will have a, a very happy world to live in. I have a nuclear family of four. And today being International Families Day, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude for being part of this nuclear family. Our journey has been full of love, cherished memories, and then very supportive. Making this video reminds me of countless family traditions we have cultivated, from shared meals, night games, and then heartfelt conversations, which has really bound us together. In a world that is constantly changing, our family remains a constant source of love, comfort, and stability. Let's continue to treasure and nurture our family bond, creating a legacy of love, support and togetherness that will endure the family. I wish my family a happy International Family Day. Becoming a young mother at age 82 and raising my little princess alone while schooling at the same time without the assistance of an elderly nor a mother wasn't easy for me at all. The pressure here and there. Being together as a family is very fun and amazing, very beautiful and I really really love my family. There are times they are mostly my best friends. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Gudal Yusefa Akolamti, going with my mom and dad and my mom little brother. It was very amazing and fun. I really love my family. Happy, Happy International Family Day to Ghana, Africa and the whole world. We are going for a quick break and we'll be right back with more stories. Good. Got it. I love my daddy. Yambita? Yes, what about my Yambita? Yes, all the flavors. Wheat, rice, and wheat and maize. Yay! <laughs> what about me? You see your life. Yumvita and rich with Nutri V contain essential vitamins and minerals to help you grow big and strong. Yumvita, a delicious way to grow. This advert is FDA approved. Yeah, welcome back from that break. Now moving on. May 16th is International Day of the Boy Child. It was founded in 2018 by Dr. Jerome Telaskin, a university lecturer from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. It focuses on boys and their well-being and their needs to feel happy, healthy and valued within family and community. There's an urgent need to focus on the home and school in order to save the boy child. Founded in 2015, Junior Shapers Africa is Ghana's foremost boy child and male youth personal development initiative established to address the silent struggles of boys and inspire them to become phenomenal gentlemen for the betterment of our society. Annually, JSA runs a variety of extracurricular programs 
under the name JSA Phenomenal Boys Academy to train and counsel various age groups of boys. Ghana's foremost male child personal development initiative, Junior Shepherds Africa led by Ethel Adolulu Mafo, is raising awareness about five factors affecting the mental and social health of the Ghanaian boy child. Let's hear her speak. Hello family, my name is Auntie Ethel and I am called the Boys Dr. Ethel. I am the founder of Junior Shapers Africa and we provide personal development grooming for young boys. I know girls will say, why not us? For a long time, girls have been empowered. There have been many interventions for girls. We have girls guiding schools. We have many programs for girls, but the boys are not getting enough to groom them. So Junior Shapers Africa is here for the boys. I want to take this opportunity to wish all boys happy well day of the boy child that fell on the 16th of May. I'm sure you'll be wondering what is the well day of the boy child all about. It's a day that is set aside to celebrate the achievements of boys and to validate your feelings and to make sure that your needs as young boys are met. So if you are a boy out there, don't be afraid to express your emotions. Don't be afraid to express your feelings. Know that your mental and emotional health is very important to us. And so there are five factors that I would like to point out to our parents so that they can take note of it and help our boys to develop their mental health. Number one is father absence phenomenon. This is something that we picked in our interaction with boys during our work at Junior Shapers Africa. Fathers, we need you to be present in the home. We need you to be present in activities where the boys are involved. It boosts their mental health. It boosts their emotional well-being. Another factor that we identified that affects the emotional and mental development of boys is lack of exposure to mentorship opportunities by positive male role models. We need to expose our boys to positive male role models either at church, um, in the community or a career mentor who can speak life into the life of our boys. It helps them to develop them emotionally and endorse them. Then also we have to learn as parents to validate the feelings, the interests and the emotions of our boys. When our boys come to tell us that they've been bullied at school, this is not the time to ridicule them or to laugh at them. It's a serious situation that must be addressed very early on in their lives so that they don't also in turn bully others because an abused person becomes an abuser. Then discrimination when it comes to discipline in the home or in the school. So in the home, parents must try as much as possible to give boys a fair hearing when it comes to discipline in the home. Don't always be on the side of the girls because girls are emotional and very expressive. When a boy lodges a complaint about his sister abusing him, hitting him, make sure that the right thing is done. Let the boy, uh, the girl apologize to the boy. Don't just rule it out and tell your boy to be a man. Make sure there is no discrimination as far as discipline in the home is concerned. This also applies to educators, teachers in our schools. Give boys a fair hearing in the class. The final factor affecting boys' mental health is poor mental health awareness and emotional intelligence skills for boys. We are not investing much in emotional intelligence for boys and mental health awareness so that boys can have control over their emotions. Boys can have anger management techniques when they are provoked. We need to make sure as parents to teach boys how to manage their anger. For instance, at Junior Shapers Africa, we teach the boys breath control. We teach them how to count one up to 10 when they are provoked. We teach them to master some hobbies and practice their, their, their hobbies they love when they are provoked. These are little, little skills that help boys to manage their mental health. So boys and parents, take note of these things that affect your mental health and be in control of your mental health. The theme for this year's World Day of the Boy Child is 
boys and mental health. Be in charge of your mental health. Away from the International Day of the Boy Child, where we find out some health benefits of Asana. Asana is a Ghanaian drink made from fermented corn and caramelized sugar. It is referred to as Alewonyo by the Asantes and Liha or Aliha by the Ewes. The popular name most people call it is Asana. The name is believed to have come from the Ghan word Asana, meaning we are tasting, or Asana, meaning we have tasted. Asana is a popular caramelized corn drink made from fermented corn and caramelized sugar in Ghana with a refreshing taste. It is stored in big calabashes with huge ice cubes in it and served with ice cubes and for some with evaporated milk. Chilled asana can be enjoyed with or without bread. Several health benefits are attributable to asana which includes prevention of digestive ailments like constipation. Today. We have our favorite registered dietitian, Abdella Korti, who will enlighten us on the health benefits of asana. If we look at asana in, in general, um, when we start with the, uh, the fermented corn, it has benefits, okay? The fermented corn, the sprouted fermented corn is high in vitamin C, it has some folate, it has some iron, it has zinc and magnesium. All these things are necessary nutrients that the body would would be glad to have and we get it from our sprouted corn okay and then it has some fiber because we blend the, the corn itself has fiber and then now when you sprout when the corn sprout it reduces the amount of starch in the corn and it also makes it easily digestible so you realize that if you are taking in sprouted maize sprouted uh, millet sprouted things it helps with your BP controls it helps with your sugar or your diabetic controls it helps with cholesterol issues because of the various things I have mentioned the fiber the, the, the vitamin C the iron the less starch in it all these things help but this is the situation where in Asana we could have gotten all these benefits in their full quantity but then after it has sprouted and then you have dried it yes you sprout and dry after it has sprouted and dried then you blend it then you produce it to prepare you, you sort of add water and then you boil it let me put it that way and then we sieve it you actually have to sieve it with a cheesecloth sort of a fine mesh so now some of the benefits like the fiber that we would have gotten is lost because we've sieved it, we've taken out the fiber. But yet still, we, we can we'll still get our vitamin C, we'll still get our, um, our magnesium and zinc, we'll still get our folate and iron, and a few other things that we would get from it. But like I'm saying, you don't get the full complement of the health benefit or the nutrients you would have gotten if you were preparing your asana with, 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 the, with the blended or the, the grated uh, sprouted corn. And that is not how it is prepared. So unfortunately, if you want to drink asana, you are always going to miss out on the fiber aspect of it. I remember we said that uh, less than 10% of your total daily intake of energy should come from sugar-sweetened beverages or should come from added sugars. So you can actually take your asana. Asana will give you all the um, um, vitamins and uh, the nutrients, that the minerals that I have mentioned. But then, because of the added sugar, if, if you don't take it in moderation, it may be harmful. You would get your vitamin C's and everything. And some people go ahead to add milk. If you add milk, we are going to get protein from it. So yes, you get a refreshing drink. It, it is, and then they you take it very chilled with ice blocks. They, they can sort of soothe your test. And then um, it, it, because of the water content, it is good. You get a lot of water. It keeps you hydrated throughout the day it keeps you it, it keeps your, your your body cool and everything we've talked about importance of water on this news so all these things are helpful but my concern is the amount of sugar that is added so if you want to take in asana for you to get all the benefits that you ever want you have to watch the sugar added that concludes our health segment for today remember Incorporating nutrient-rich foods like asana into our diet can contribute to a healthier lifestyle. Let's take a break here and when we are back, we'll continue with more stories just for you. Hello, mommy, 
the kids you are all Just welcome to yasha collections we deal in career costumes that you can think of we have the nurses dresses we have pilots we have police we have immigration we have soldiers we have air hostess the accessories the stethoscope we have the guns football jc everything we have them here if you are at school and you want to buy in bulk please you are welcome we do the wholesaling we do the retailing if you want to buy one for your kid you are welcome We are open from morning 7 a.m. to evening 7 p.m. From Monday to Saturday, our doors are open to all of you. Wherever you are, we can deliver to you. So we are located at Carnation, near the Pentecost Assembly Church, very close to the first light. So when you get to Coco Clinic, you use a one way to first light and just call our number and you'll get us there. 0249-158087. Yashak, all the best. Yashak, one in town. Bye. Yeah, welcome back from that break and also welcome back to our career segment. Now I know I'm wearing an engineer costume but today we'll be finding out what it takes to become a professional chef. A chef is defined as an exceptional culinary professional who effectively manages the daily food preparation at many different types of food service establishments. The overarching goal of chefs is to make sure that the kitchen is always running smoothly and adhering to the many important kitchen and food regulations. A day in the life of a chef is often busy. Many chefs are expected to juggle the following job responsibilities. Developing a menu, preparing tasty food, ensuring that the staff follow sanitation practices, maintaining a budget, purchasing food and equipment, monitoring the freshness of food, and many more. Most chefs hire, train and fire employees as well. Most people who are considering a career as a chef probably want to know the required characteristics to qualify for this executive position. The best chefs are extremely passionate about food, great communicators, creative, team players, and multi -taxes. They also have great physical stamina, working long hours while maintaining exceptional attention to details. Some chefs also possess the following skills, problem solving, cleanliness, leadership, stress management, organization, collaboration, customer service, and more. Let's take a look at what it takes to become a chef. Becoming a chef is a dream for many people, bringing joy to others through food, being creative, working varied hours, and being in a growth industry are just some of the reasons people choose the career path of a chef. To become a chef takes a lot of hard work and dedication to consistent improvement. There is no one path to becoming a chef, but generally, this is the path that many chefs follow. One obtain your high school diploma or equivalent now this is where domestic and international applicants will need to have earned a high school diploma or equivalent to apply to a culinary school you will find that the lessons you learned in your high school math and science classes are applied in the kitchen two entry-level restaurants or kitchen experience while earning your high school diploma or after graduating, getting some work experience in kitchens or restaurants, it's a great way to discover what happens in a professional kitchen. Through this exposure, you may identify the roles and specializations of interest to you for a career in the culinary industry. 3. Attend culinary school. 
Formal training through culinary school is one of the fastest ways to set you on the path to becoming a chef. Through a six-month, one-year or two-year program, you will be trained in the fundamentals of culinary techniques. To excel in all your practical and written exams, you will need to work hard, ask questions, practice and perfect your skills. Along with the hands-on culinary training and skill development, you will get to network with professionals in the industry and develop contact with your fellow students, faculty and alumni. This will be helpful when you begin and later advance in your career. A certificate from a recognized culinary school provides you with more opportunities and a better entry-level position into the industry. 4. Get practical kitchen experience. Through practical experience, you will broaden your skills and proficiencies. You may start work as a line cook or a prep cook doing food preparation for your day-to-day. Many successful chefs advise working in different environments such as restaurants, catering companies or hotels. Working with different chefs with various culinary styles and cuisines will help you broaden your experience and skill set to increase your employability. You will need to work hard aiming for promotions to get you to the top job. A common path might be commerce, chef de partie, sous chef and the head chef. It would take years of experience working in professional kitchens to attain the level of a professional chef. 5. First chef rule. Your hard work would have paid off if your goal was to become a chef. Once you've achieved the level of chef, you have different options going forward. You can continue working as a chef, choosing different venues to challenge yourself. You might open your own restaurant or catering company, become a personal chef, or you may look to take on a management position in food-related companies. Now to our final point, obtain highest certificates. One of the most common reasons to pursue a chef certification is to advance your career as having a specialty or advanced credential can help you qualify for higher level job opportunities. Another reason to work toward a chef certification is to learn more about how to engage in leadership roles in the culinary arts such as overseeing a kitchen or leading the culinary department in a hotel or hospital. You might also earn one to learn a new technical culinary skill or style of cooking. My dear friends and colleagues, if you want to become a chef, all you have to do is to get the necessary qualifications and who knows, I might just come to your eatery to eat or taste one of your recipes. And I'm sure you've heard of the Guinness World Record breaker, Hilda Bassi, who is a Nigerian chef who was able to cook for 100 hours straight Without slacking, I'm sure you want to be like her one day. Now to draw the curtains on the news on our Have Your Say segment. Last week, we asked you to tell us the importance of the boy child and here's what he shared with us. This important day helps address specific challenges. Boys face specific challenges such as higher rates of school dropout, substance abuse and mental health issues. This day allows us to address the Challenges advocate for their right to help boys overcome these obstacles. International Day of the Boy Child encourages the creation of safe and inclusive spaces where boys can express their emotions, seek support, and develop healthy relationships, changing the notion that boys should always be strong and stoic. It promotes gender equality. Gender equality is not a one sided endeavor. It requires addressing the needs of both boys and girls by dedicating a day to boys. We acknowledge that they too face unique challenges, expectations and societal pressures. It is crucial to foster an inclusive approach that recognizes and supports the rights and well-being of all genders. The International Day of the Boy Child highlights the importance of providing boys with diverse career options and opportunity also promotes their pursuit of interest and passion beyond traditional gender rules. The International Day of the Boy Child serves as a platform for dialogue, collaboration and partnership among various stakeholders including government, non-government organizations, community leaders, parents, educators and young boys themselves by engaging in conversation and joint efforts. For me, 
What I think is one of the importance of the boy child is to encourage families to spend time with sons, grandsons, and young boys. Now for this week, we want to hear from you and celebrate the beauty of all hair types. We are producing a special new segment on why kids love their hair and we want your voices to be heard. No matter your hair texture or style, we invite you to share what makes your hair special to you. Is it the way it allows you to express your creativity? The way it represents your cultural heritage? Or maybe it's simply how it makes you feel confident and unique? Let's celebrate the diversity of hair and inspire other kids to embrace and love their own unique hair journeys. We can't wait to hear from you. Record your video and send it to us on 0554 via WhatsApp. Big thanks to Yasha Collection for my career costume. You can locate them as Kaneshi Fresh Traffic Light or their number is on the screen. Just pick up your phone, call them and order your career costume because we are still in career month. I'm Kasmira. See you same time next week. Bye!